when you have hearing loss, you have to, first you need to determine what type of hearing loss you have. And there's multiple times. There's hearing loss that can be uh, due to lack of conduction of proper sound into the hearing organ, which is called the cochlea. And they are, are and, and that's called a conductive hearing loss. Then there's other type of hearing loss, which is nerve hearing loss. And so for those that have a mild or moderate hearing loss, a hearing aid is a great option. We can bring up their hearing to an almost normal level. But when we look at, at nerve hearing loss, you can have the speech understanding hearing loss, or you can have uh, the, the tone hearing loss. And they can go separate or they can go together. More commonly, they, co they go together. So when people start not understanding what people say, that's where a cochlear implant, for example, is useful. When there comes a point where you're not understanding speech, that is the time to start thinking about cochlear implants. How a cochlear implant works is has two components. One that is surgically put in underneath the skin and sends a little cable inside the hearing organ, the cochlea. And then in the outside, you wear something very similar to a hearing aid. And so it can be, a, it, we call it a processor. Processor goes behind the ear and it has to communicate somehow with the internal component, the one that is underneath the skin. And so the way that works is there's a little coil, a little magnet that you put magnet to magnet, and that magnet transmits the sound from the processor, the outer component, to the implant itself, and from there into the cable that goes inside the cochlea. Patients who have that, that need a cochlear implant actually have normal anatomy for the vast majority of them. 90%, 96% of patients, they have normal anatomy. So you're doing surgery on patients who have the perfect anatomy, and so we just follow it. To get a cochlear implant, you require several things. You need a CAT scan, you need a cochlear implant evaluation where we actually determine if you are a candidate. All of those appointments, we're, we are condensing those into a one-stop shop trying to bring those patients so, and get all this done in one or two days so that you know that that's what you need and then being able to move forward with surgical implantation if that's what you desire.